Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a couple of use cases to pass parameter values when using data actions for workbook navigation use cases. Now here's my setup. This is my summary dashboard. I have a parameter city that is um, fetching a list of city values using a logical SQL query and I've wired this parameter to my visualizations here. And uh, I've basically selected a few parameter values and you can see that the donut bar and the pivot table is showing me data for the selected value city values that the parameter holds as current value. And uh, this is my detailed report. So I'm going to navigate the user from the summary report to this detailed report. And in that process, I'm going to pass the filter on the parameter context values to this detailed report. Let's go back to our source report and look at the definition of the data actions that I've created. Now, the first one is uh, an example of a data action of analytics, a link type. And I've anchored this data actions to a specific column called order priority. And I've uh, specified the target workbook as the detailed report that I just showed you. And you can see that we've added a new option for data action to pass the parameter value in addition to passing the filter value. So I'm going to choose this to be all so that any parameter value on the source dashboard is also sent to the detailed uh, report or dashboard. Let's go ahead and save this data action. Now I'm going to go to this donut chart, right click on a specific slice of the donut and you can see that my data action for analytics type is here. So I'm going to perform the data action. Now in this case, the context of the data that I've selected, which is order priority equals critical and the values of the city parameter needs to be passed to the detailed report. So let's perform the data action. And you can see that when the dashboard loads, the order priority is critical as we have selected on the source dashboard and the city that uh, is showing me the customer details is just for those cities, the five cities that the parameter uh, was holding as current value on the source dashboard. Now you can see that on the detailed report, there is no parameter filter created or parameter as a filter control created on the target dashboard. And that's by design because when you perform a data action and if the target workbook does not have a, a matching parameter that has the same parameter name, then the target workbook is going to accept the incoming parameter values applied to the detailed data in our example here, but not create an explicit parameter as filter control. Now let's go to the edit of the target workbook, which is our customer detailed data. And I'm going to add a, a dashboard filter bar uh, to this canvas. And I'll bring in the order priority, which was one of the filter values that we wanted to pass with the data action. And I'm going to create a, a dummy parameter. You can see that I've created a dummy parameter, which is an empty parameter, right? Does not hold any possible or initial value. And I'm going to add this as a filter control to the target workbook. Let's go ahead and save this uh, target workbook. I'm back on my source workbook. I'm going to select a slice of the donut. Let's do critical, uh, right click and perform the data action. Now you can see that when I perform the data action, it's going to take the filter context, which is auto priority is critical and the city values from the parameter and pass it to the matching uh, columns, filter, co filter control columns on the target work workbooks dashboard filter bar. In this case, auto priority is critical and the city parameter now holds the parameter values that was passed as incoming values to this uh, target workbook. So for any data action, the data action is going to look for a matching filter and a parameter on the target workbook. And if there is a matching column that is available, then it's going to apply the context of the filter and the parameter values to those dashboard filter bar. If there are no matching parameter or filter controls on the dashboard filter bar, then the data action would create a filter on the workbook filter bar, but will not create a parameter, but would still pass the parameter values to the detailed report.
Now, the second use case I want to demonstrate for workbook navigation use cases is using data actions again, uh, but using a URL navigation type. So I've created a city parameter that is of uh, data action type as your URL navigation. And I'm simply passing the selected city value to a Google search URL, right? Now think of a use case where you want to pass the parameter value to your outgoing uh, HCM system or CRM system or ERP system. Uh, then using a data action type of URL navigation is going to help you achieve that implementation. In my example, uh, I'm simply going to pass the selected value to this uh, Google search URL. When you start to type at parameter and provide the parameter name, you could see a, a bunch of options that we have exposed for uh, this type of data action, um, particularly when you want to send uh, uh, multiple values to your outgoing um, URL or external system, then you can define uh, the kind of uh, separator that you want to use. In my example, I'm using a comma separated value. And if you have alias as part of your parameter definition, you can choose to send the value or the alias. As you can see, type equals alias or value. And in my example, I'm simply going to pass uh, the value. So let me go ahead and save this data action. And uh, I have uh, just chosen Adelaide as my city for uh, this demonstration. I'm going to go to the donut, right click, and I can see the city uh, data action. So when I invoke the data action, it's going to pass a parameter value as Adelaide to the Google search. And um, I can see a, a new tab uh, opened up with the Google search window for the selected value. So data actions are a, a powerful way to implement your workbook navigation. And with parameters, now it becomes a lot more flexible and comprehensible in terms of uh, passing the selected filter or and parameter values to your outgoing target workbook or applications. Thank you for watching this video.